The city has begun demolishing a huge eyesore on the city's west side. They're knocking down Grandma Lloyd's mobile home park and trailer park. It's on Rockville Road near Holt and Washington. As City Bureau reporter Mary Mills tells us, it's been a huge source of frustration for the people who live nearby. Neighbors say good riddance. It's not just an eyesore, but a health and safety issue, and has been since the health department condemned it a year ago. Very, very happy. I, it's, it's a victory for everybody. Neighbors stood alongside police officers and city officials as the excavator began crushing the trailers, 59 in all. Well, guys, we fought hard for this. Yeah. We did, and we it's a good enjoy thing. It. Neighbors say back in the day, Grandma Lloyd's was a nice place to live. Joyce Hatfield lived here as a young mother. It was a family neighborhood. It was everybody knew everybody. But years later, after the owners died, it went downhill, falling into disrepair and worse. It's been a nightmare for me because I'm old, scared. Police were called here numerous times. Because it was condemned and all these structures were vacant, it was just a prolific place for squatters, narcotics use, dealing, prostitution to occur. And the way it's situated, it's hard. It's hard to patrol through here because there's no through streets. That was done by uh, thug. It was Hatfield's daughter, Debbie, who finally said, I said, that's enough. We deserve better. I start, uh, got a hold of the police, started a crime watch, but made a lot of phone calls, and uh, the elected officials got behind me, and we have a victory today. But she says there's still work to be done. We're still going to have to be vigilant on the prostitution and everything, but at least they can't hide in the trailers. Uh, people aren't living over there really drugged out. We don't have to worry about meth labs over there. She and others hope the site can be turned into a park. For now, though, they're just thrilled to see this. It's like Christmas. You know, the anticipation and everything, you know it's going to happen. And you just keep waiting and waiting, and now it's finally here. Demolition is expected to take about two weeks. The city's not sure what's next for the site, but residents say they'd like to see a park here. On the west side, Mary Mills, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. All right.